Hey, what's up, God's people? This your boy, Minister Slugger. Man, I want to thank y'all for tuning in. Thank y'all for checking out the blogs. Thank y'all for the comments and the encouraging words that you have been uh, leaving behind. And I'm just so excited that God's people has been receiving his word. And today, uh, we're going to be talking about a God who saves in the time of trouble. A God who saves in the time of trouble. And many of us in our lives, all of us, at some point of our lives, we have been in some type of trouble. We have been, we know what it's like to experience what trouble is. And throughout the Bible, we see time and time again where God, he would deliver his people from trouble. But then there are times when God, he allows his people to go through the trouble. And he delivers them while they're yet in the trouble. And so that's what we're going to be talking about today. A God who saves in the time of trouble. You know, the trouble didn't pass. I actually got in the trouble. I actually got in the situation. But yet, God still saved me. And so, uh, for an example, uh, we're gonna, the biblical example we're going to be using is, uh, we're going to start off with Daniel. Here it is. Daniel was thrown off into the lion's den. He was thrown off into a den with, uh, with some hungry lions. And now God could have protected him and saved him from even being thrown into the lion's den. But here it is, God allows him to get thrown into the lion's den, but yet take the taste out of the lion's mouth and save Daniel's life. A God who saves in the time of trouble. And then here it is, we have uh, the uh, the three Jewish boys by the name of uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They were thrown into a fiery furnace that was heated up seven times normal than what they were normally heated up because the king became furious with them because they would not bow down and worship his, his golden image. But here it is. They were thrown down off into the fiery furnace. And the king looks down off into the furnace and was like, wait a minute. Did y'all not cast three men down off into the fiery furnace? Well, I see four men down there walking. And they are not hurt. The fire hasn't consumed them. And the fourth one looks like the son of God. See, we got to know that in the midst of our trouble, right in our trouble, that God will show up. He will be right there with us. He will be right there in our fire furnace with us and protecting us, keeping the fire from, from burning us up. And when the king brought them up out of the fire furnace, they were all amazed and astonished because the clothes hadn't been burned, their hair hadn't been scorched. You know, the, uh, they, 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 they came out as if they'd never been in a fire whatsoever. The smell of smoke, the Bible says that the smell of smoke hadn't even been up on them. And that's the kind of God that I serve. A God that though I've been through hell, but though I don't look like it. <laughs> yeah, and God sees he's that kind of God that you can go through the fire, but yet you don't have no marks whatsoever. You don't have no evidence whatsoever that I've gone through the fire. <laughs> yeah, thank you, God. Because... God still is that kind of God that he, would serve, he, that he would save us and preserve us though we've gone through the trouble that we've gone through. And somebody today, you might be in your fiery furnace. You might be in your lion's den. They may be coming to repossess your car. They may be coming to take your house. They may, your kids may be acting up. Or you might be in crunch times, the fourth quarter, and you got to come up with a plan and you got to come up with A, B, and C, and you don't know what's going to happen. But I'm here to tell you that God is a God that will save you and preserve your life in the time of trouble. Even if they repossess the car, guess what? God will still get you from point A to point B and possibly even point C. Because God is a God who will save in the time of trouble. Let's even go off into the New Testament where Jesus, he uh, is in a boat with his disciples. His disciples are out there on the ship and a storm comes up and they're in the midst of the storm and the Bible says that the waves were filling up the boat, filling up the boat. They were, it seems like the boat was getting ready to go under. As soon as they said, Master, we are perishing. We're perishing. And Jesus gets up and he rebukes the wind and the waves and he says, peace, be still. And my God, my God, look at her, a God that saves in a time of trouble. He always shows up right on time. He may not come when we think that he should come, but he's always right on time. Because here it was, they were on this ship, and they're seeing this ship being filled up with water. And here it is, they thinking they're going to go under. 
But Jesus wakes up just in the nick of time and goes out there and rebukes the wind and the waves. Now he didn't save them from the storm, but he saved them while they were yet going through the midst of the storm. So I just want to encourage somebody today. Though God didn't deliver you from the storm, though God didn't deliver you from the lion's den, though God did not deliver you from the fire of the furnace, but God is still with you while you're yet in your situation. And if you would just give him time, watch God work that thing. And the fact that you're still breathing is, 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 is more than enough sign that God is still God and that God is still a great deliverer, that God is a, a still that great God that he is. Because look at all you've gone through and you're still breathing, you're still making it. The situation that you're in right now, that the one that is, that is crushing you so, that you feel like you ain't gonna make it out of, but look at you, you're making it. So if you got Jesus in the boat with you, go ahead on and go through that thing. If you got Jesus off of the lines then with you, guess what, you gonna make it out that thing. If you got Jesus off of the fiery furnace with you, guess what, you shall make it out in Jesus' name, amen.